it's the plate it is good it is very good it Hi you guys, it's Pesta coming back to you with another freaking video and in this video I will be showing y'all how to make salmon and pasta. <laughs> that's exactly what it is it's really just some salmon and pasta and the reason why i'm making this is because um somebody had requested that i not make any beef so here i am making fish okay so <laughs> so uh i hope y'all enjoy this video so let's get started the first thing you will need is salmon make sure y'all clean y'all meat off okay some fresh spinach um and some greenhouse cherry tomatoes cut it in half i used about 15 of them and I, all i did was cut them in half and then i used a hen for and a half of fresh spinach you will need some half and half i usually i usually use heavy whipping cream but they didn't have none so i'm using half and half you will need some spaghetti. Any spaghetti would do. But this is the spaghetti I have to use because I think I told y'all before my daughter is gluten free. You can use any cheese you want but this is the cheese I'm using. The five cheese Italian cheese. I'm also using the pepper jack cheese which is really good. Seasonings is garlic salt. Lemon pepper. Creole seasoning, uh, onion powder, minced, minced garlic, and that is it for this meal. So let's get started. Well, while the water get ready to boil for the spaghetti, we will um, start making our salmon. So you want to pour a little oil up in whatever skillet you have. Place your fine your salmon. <laughs> Place your salmon up in the skillet, and this is on low heat. Now you want to take the seasoning and season your food. This is the garlic salt. The first one was the onion powder. Here's the Creole seasoning. Once again, sprinkle how much you want on your food, okay? If you want your food over seasoned, over season your food. If you want your food lightly seasoned, lightly season your food. I'm just seasoning my food how I know I like my food. And this is the lemon pepper. And now you're going to cook the meat. I'm going to cook this meat for about five minutes on one side. And then I'm going to flip the meat around. Okay, so now since the water is boiling for the spaghetti, you want to break your pasta in half and place it into the pot. And I'm going to use the whole box of pasta. Sprinkle some sea salt in the water. Fork it around a little bit just so the pasta won't stick to each other. And then let it cook. Okay, so it's been cooking for about five minutes, and now all we're going to do is just flip it over. Y'all see how good that looks. <laughs> Y'all see how good that looks. <laughs> Okay, so now since all the pieces is flipped over, you're going to let the other side cook for about four to five minutes. So as y'all can see, the pasta is done. Now all we're going to do is wait on the salmon to finish cooking. Okay, y'all, so this is done. 
So you want to remove this from the skillet and place it on a plate, a bowl, or whatever you want to place it on. Okay, so in that same skillet, you want to take um, two tablespoons of butter. Now, if you burnt like your seasonings and stuff, do not use burnt seasoning, okay? Or your food may come out tasting burnt, okay? My seasoning did not burn, so I am going to use my same skillet. But it's always best to use the same skillet because all the seasoning that came from, you know, your meat will be in your sauce. Okay, so now you want to take that bowl of spinach and tomatoes and pull it right in to the skillet. You want to cook this down. At the end, when the sauce is finished, you can add more seasoning to it. But at this point, you do not want to add any type of seasoning. Okay, so cook this down. And once it's done cooking down, I will be right back. Okay, so after cooking down for about five minutes, this is what your um, tomatoes and spinach should look like. Now, all that excess water or whatever that came from the spinach, you will want to leave that up in there, okay? So now it's time to pull the half and half into the skillet. And you can pull as much as you think you need. I'll pull like half of this container. And this container is um, one quart. Once the milk heats up, we're going to add the cheese. So I will be right back. Okay, so now it's time to add the cheese. And you want to add a little at a time. So you can be able to mix the cheese up so you can make sure that it's melting. You know, basically blending with the milk. To check if the cheese is melting into the milk, just scoop up, you know, in the sauce to see if any cheese is left on your fork. If it's not, that means the cheese is melting into the milk. Now add the rest of the cheese. And you're basically going to repeat the same steps that I just showed you. Just mix it around. And um, as you mixing, you should see that the cheese will start to get really thick. Now, at this point, you do not need to add any more cheese to it if you don't want, want a extra thick sauce. But I am going to add the jalapeno cheese. Once the cheese is melted into the, the half and half, you want to taste your cheese sauce. Make sure that it's tasting exactly how you want it. If it's not, add some more seasoning into it. And then I will be right back to you. Okay, y'all. So I added some more seasoning into it, which was the lemon pepper, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, and the onion powder. Now, I forget to add the garlic, the minced garlic up in the mix. But if you want to use the minced garlic, I'm not going to add it in. Now, you want to add it in when you're cooking down the spinach and the tomatoes. That would be the perfect time to add the minced garlic in. But this sauce is completed, y'all. Okay, so pull your pasta up into the sauce i mean you can mix the pasta all the way up in the sauce or you can do what i'm doing right here so then when you make your plate you won't have to worry about if your spaghetti already has sauce up on it and whatever you can do whatever you want at this point you can mix it in if you want to you can leave it like this if you want to i'm going to leave it like this and i'm going to make me a plate and i will show you what my plate looks like Okay, y'all. So here's the plate. Y'all know I'm not good at plating food <laughs> or, you know, making the plate look good. But this is the plate. It is good. It is very I'll good. If you recipe out, please come back in the comment section and let me know if the food turned out as good as mine. 
because honey this is really good um if y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so y'all won't miss the next video okay and um go check out my website www.embraceheritage.com go shop with me go support my business and i think that's about it have a good day and peace out